The Artist in Residence program has been a huge benefit to patients. It takes their mind off of chemotherapy, off of their diagnosis. I did find out I had cancer the day after Christmas. The first time I had chemo, I saw this lady pushing this cart around, and I later found out it was called the Artist in Residence. Well, I first told Catherine I have not creative at all. You know, I have a little cart that I push around that has lots of supplies on it. And they're always so excited because every person tells me I am not an artist. But she is so patient and she is just this great artist. So it was nothing for her to take somebody that even isn't good at crafts and make it look easy. I believe it helps patients because they actually relax. They can go into sort of a state of mind, if you will, that takes the edge off of the thoughts of being ill. I am committed to getting the patients to open up being creative because a lot of patients don't want to do art. I really want to come to them in a way that I can make them feel comfortable about trying something new, trying something creative, and having enough projects that there's just a variety of things for them. One of my patients is a beautiful origami expert. So I have uh, some origami things on my desk actually and in my office. A lot of doctors can be kind of cold and that is just not the case with the people here at Methodist Richardson. Dr. Trumbly, he's got this great smile, he's very caring, he listens really well. He's always checking to see how you're doing, not just through the cancer part, but how you're doing as a person. Dr. Hughes is, is this wonderful lady. She very caring and she spends an hour and a half the very first time you go to visit her to make sure you really understand everything that's going on with your cancer. All my uh, energy and strength and, and endurance is returning. Now my husband and I will be going up on the Blue Ridge uh, Parkway, so we'll be hiking in the mountains and seeing the fall foliage and I'm really looking forward to it. She's just opened up. I see her. She came to me saying, I'm not an artist. I don't want to do this. And to making something quite beautiful that I think she's really proud of.